Today we're doing solar panel upgrade. This is my original solar panel, which was graciously given me by a friend, Jimmy. Um, I used it for a while. Um, I use my solar panels. Yeah. Let's see if we can. There we go. Come on. You can hear the dryer in the background. That's because my little work area here is messed up, and I don't know that I'm not upside down here. Come on, right side me up. I don't know if this is going to come out right side up or how it's going to come out. Um, we'll take a look at it, but what we're doing today is I'm upgrading from a, a 5.1 watt, 17.5 volt solar panel to a, let's see what this baby says, 17.2 um, volt. It's supposed to be a 35 watt, um, 35 watt, yeah, there it is, 35 watt solar panel. So I'm going from 5.1 watts to 35 watts. Um, that should be good. I do one um, deep cell battery, that's it. And I have a little wind generator, if you know, if you watch my video. Okay, I think we're recording. I just went through a bunch of hoop a doo with that. Okay, what we're going to do is this is the, um, this one here is the, uh, the solar panel wiring. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these hoop de doo things, which is a waterproof connector. Going to slide it over that. And take our crimpy thing with the blue, put it on the blue setting, a little ways in, and you crimp it down. Crimp it down real hard, and you give it a little yank, and we're there. Okay, you don't need to see me do that a hundred times. I'm going to do that to the positive side. I always do that backwards. I forgot to turn on the sound last time, so we'll do it again. Um, it doesn't matter here which wire you hook up to a positive or negative here, okay? Because you won't determine that till you come down to the plug. Then you just take it outside, find out what's positive negative in this wire with your meter, and then hook up your, your thing according to... Um, how it is in the trailer. In other words, in my trailer, this is the plus side. This little, yeah, let me get that right up there. The uh, covered side is the plus side of my trailer. Negative side is the open side. So that's how it works. Of course, I rewired my trailer, so I don't know how yours would be. You're going to have to determine that when you get there. But now we're just going to do a hook up here. And I'll do, got to do the heat gun thing and get this all set up nice. And uh, we'll be there. Okay. Now we're to the air gun um, part of this. <clears throat> Hot air. 14 bucks. At, um, fourteen dollars at uh, Harbor Freight for this gun. So now we're just going to seal up these things.
this side is the plus side right there that some reason that don't want to sit on my lap that this little the covered side get it there covered side is the plus side the red just happens that, that it's fired right the red is the the um, positive side and it's the what is it I don't know see there's two different sides to it one open one that's negative that's the positive Positive side is the one with the thing already on it, which was how we determined what it was. Went outside with the multimeter and checked that the polarity was right. Let me put this in here, like that. in there. Groaning helps. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I'm going to try something. Okay. The sound of it. I do that just for you. <sighs> See if that holds. That holds. Okay, we go back to our. Okay, that's on there. Good. Um. Let's hope that holds. Because if it don't, there's our plug. Bingo bango. Now we just heat it up like you saw me do before, and we'll go out and test them. Okay, I think you can see the, um, the little green light there. That means that my solar panel is charged the battery. Um, it was at 13.5 when it showed. Um, what we got there? I don't know if you can see that. It's 12.9 now. It holds it around 13 volts. Um, when the sun's really out, it'll bring it up to 13.5. But it's 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 holding 12.8, 12.9, and it's still charging. Um, I've decided to stick with the mountain that on the trailer. Um, plug it into the ZAM solar plug. And that's it. That's the whole deal. The solar panels are all hooked up. It seems to be working great. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's pretty. Pretty dismal day. And it seems to be doing all right. So we just I also um, put a mouth for my gas can in front of the channel, so that's my generator on that. I can run about six days on two gallons of gas. So that's it.